Hello students, today I have prepared a video on IP address or we can say it as classful IP addressing. It's a very very important topic to be understood for understanding the inter-networking. So an IP address is of 32 bit address so the length of the IP address is of 32 bits now it all depends upon which version the IP belongs to if it's belong to version 4 the length of IP address is going to be of 32 bits if it is of version 6 the length of IP address is going to be 128 bits so in today's lecture we are focusing on IPv4 IP address which is of 32 bit long. The IP address are unique within the network. So IP address basically plays a role like your pin code in an address. As we know very well pin code of your address is a unique code which is not being duplicated within the world. Similarly, the IP address are also unique within the network so that the data is going to be routed effectively. What would be the address space for IPv4? As we know very well, the IP address length is of 32 bits, so 2 raised to 32 address space for IPv4 is possible. Talking about the denotion of IP address, the IP address is being denoted in dotted decimal notation. So why it is said in such a way? Since there are dots between this decimal value, that's the reason they are being denoted as dotted decimal notation how it take place as we know the length is of 32 bits this 32 bits are being divided into eight dif uh, four different groups of eight bits so here if you see four groups are being formed and each group is of eight bits while each group is going to be treated as a byte so this is your first byte second byte, third byte and the fourth byte. Now this 8 bit value is being converted into the decimal value. So the decimal value for this 8 bit is nothing but 128, for this 8 bit is nothing but 11, for this 8 bit 1 1 the value is 3 and for this 8 bits the value decimal value is nothing but 31. So this is a way of representing the 32 bits IP address in dotted decimal fashion. So here we'll take one example. Change the following IP address from binary notation to dotted decimal notation. So they have provided you 30, 32 bits long IP address with 4 different groups. Each group which is of 8 bits will represent one decimal value. So the first byte is 129, the second byte is 11, again the third byte is 11 and the last byte is nothing but 239. Next, change the following IP address from the dotted decimal notation to the binary notation. So here they are asking you the reverse way wherein they have provided you dotted decimal fashion and they are asking you to convert it into binary form which is of 32 bits long. So here the first value decimal value will give you the first byte which is of 8 bits. Second decimal value will give you the second byte which is of 8 bits. So 
So this 56 is nothing but 8 bit binary equivalent while the 45 is the third byte binary equivalent and the 78 is nothing but the fourth byte binary equivalent. So here please remember the decimal to binary conversion is possible with the help of your normal scientific calculator. Next question, find the error if any in the following IP address. <clears throat> One has to remember over here, the largest decimal value which would appear in the IP address would be 255. There won't be any decimal value above 255. The reason each decimal value represent 8 bits and if we make all these 8 bits, so here if you see, if we try to make all the 8 bits as 1, so if all the 8 bits are 1, the maximum value of decimal would be 255. So there won't be any IP address which would be above 255 decimal value. So the error over here is in the third byte. The reason 301 is outside the range. As we know very well, the value of the decimal should be below 255. Coming back to the actual IP addressing, which is classful IP addressing. So in case of classful IP addressing, Basically, there are five different classes of IP address, which are class A address, class B address, class C address, class D address, and class E address. So here, it is being shown the occupation of the address space of different classes of IP address. So from this diagram, we can make out class A is the IP address which occupies the largest address space while class B and class E are the IP address which occupies the lowest address space among all. In classful IP addressing, the address space is divided into five different classes. As we know all, what are they? Class A, Class B, Class C, Class D and Class E. Now, the next point is finding the class in binary notation. As we know very well, any IP address can be denoted in two notation. Either it can be binary notation or it can be in the decimal notation. So, if it is in binary notation, there would be how many bits? There would be 32 bits and how many bytes? 4 bytes. Each byte representing the 8 bits. So, for finding the class, whether it would be decimal or the binary notation, we have to concentrate always on the first byte. Please remember, for finding the class of an IP address, whether it is binary or decimal, we have to concentrate on the first byte. So, if the first bit of first byte is 0, we say it as class A. If first two bits of first byte is 1, 0, then we say it as class B. If first three bits are 1, 1, 0, then we say it as class C. If first four bits are 1, 1, 1, 0, then we say it as class D. If all the first four bits are 1, then we treat it as class E. So, it is also be explained with the 
uh, let's say flowchart diagram if star if first bit is 0 it is class A if first and second bit is 1 0 then class B if it is 1 1 0 then it is class C if it is 1 1 1 0 it is class D and finally if it is 1 1 1 and 1 that is all four ones then it is class E so here we will try to understand with the help of example so this is the 32 bit long IP address given which they are asking you to find the class and as I told you if you want to find the class we have to concentrate on the first byte since the first bit of the first byte is 0 it is class A address next question find the class of the address again we are going to concentrate on the first byte here if you see the first three bits are 1 1 0 which means if it is 1 1 0 that is 1 1 0 it is class C so with this we have seen how to find the class of an IP address if it is in binary notation now we'll try to understand how to find the class of an IP address if it is in decimal notation if it is in decimal notation as I told you even though if it is decimal or binary to find the class we have to always target on the first byte so here the value would be in the terms of decimal value so if the decimal value ranges between 0 to 127 of the first byte we say it as class A if the decimal value of the first byte is between 128 to 191 then we say it as class B if it is from 192 to 223 then we say it as class C if it is between 224 to 239 then we say it as class D and finally if the value is between 240 to 255 then we say it as class E so here we have seen how to find the class whether it is in the binary form or in the decimal form so we'll try to understand with the example for the decimal value so first we have to concentrate on the first byte uh, which is the decimal value 227 and 227 lies between 224 to 239 which belongs to yes class D again targeting on the first byte 193 if you remember well 193 lies between 192 to 223 which means it belongs to class C so here we have seen how to calculate or find the class of an IP address again a very important point is net ID or we say it as a network ID and the host ID net ID indicates the number of bits which are being given to identify the network and host ID is nothing but the number of bits which are being given to identify the host for that network so in case of class A only one byte is reserved for network ID and three bytes are being given for host ID for class B two bytes are being reserved for net ID and two bytes are given for host ID for class C first three bytes are given for network ID and last bit for host ID for class D it is reserved for multicast address which is also called for group address and finally class E which is reserved for future use so with this we have learned about the IP address for version 4 which is of 32 bits long and it has five different classes which are A, B, C, D and E. Thank you.